our focus today is identifying similar triangles. And we're going to do that through this AA property. So AA, or angle-angle, is when you have two angles of one triangle congruent to two angles of another triangle. And if this is true, you can say, therefore, the triangles are similar. So using AA, we're going to do some examples. So the directions are, find the missing angles, then state if the triangles are similar. So first, in order to find x, we have to set these we have to add these together and set the total equal to 180. So if we add these two together, we get x plus 144 equals 180. If we subtract that over, we get x is equal to 36 degrees. So now we do the same thing over here. y plus 36 plus 66 equals 180. y plus 102 equals 180. So y equals 78. Okay. 78. So we know that y equals 78. So this angle is congruent with this angle. We know x is equal to 36. And this angle over here is also equal to 36. So those two are congruent. So therefore, triangles are similar by angle, angle. And even though we know that, that this and this is also congruent, all we need to know is that two of these are congruent to prove by angle, angle. So the directions are the same. We're going to do that with this new triangle. So. We know that this is a right angle, and a right angle equals 90 degrees. This angle, 90 degrees. So now we're going to use our interior angle properties and set the angles equal to 180. So if you add those to get together, you get 128 plus A equals 180, so A is equal to 52. So, since we know that this is a right angle and this is a right angle, that means that these two angles are congruent, because all right angles are congruent to one another. And we know that this is 52 degrees and this is 52 degrees, so we can say, therefore, triangles are similar by angle, angle. But we're going to check this one just for some extra practice because it should be congruent to this one. So B plus 90 plus 52 is equal to 180. B plus plus 142 equals 180. If you subtract this over, you get B equals 38. So these are also congruent. You don't have to know that to prove this. You just need two angles, but we just went ahead and checked them just for extra proof. So we're going to so next lesson, we're going to talk about other ways to prove 
triangles are similar so make sure you check that out